Brick Rhinos that talk about him as a pay politician, two and three hundred percent increase to get good people to come in a politics. Since when you win a politics to make money unless you are team? Since when you win a politics to make money unless you are a damn team? The announcement by Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark that his fellow parliamentarians and cabinet ministers are set to receive a 200% increase in their salaries came as a surprise to everyone except those in the cabinet. Many MPs who spoke to Nationwide News confirmed they were not consulted on the increase. We spoke to 14 JLP MPs. While welcoming the increase, those on the government backbenches were scared of the public backlash and declined to go on the record. Deputy Speaker of the House, Juliet Holness, was the only exception. I'm coming out of private sector, so in 2002 thereabouts, my salary then is my salary now in the public sector. What I, what I earned, that is what I earned 21 years ago before the increase. 21 years ago, yeah, that's what I was earning. Less than what I was earning 21 years ago. It has never been principally driven by money unless they are coming in for dishonest motives. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're interested in making money, you stay in the private sector and make money. I still don't think persons understand that if what salaries are paid to is a civil servant, a public sector worker, then thinking about what the increase is, is actually not where their headspace should have been. But appreciating that it is being re-pegged to the person in the public sector that it is always pegged to and that is equity. Mrs. Holness, who is chairman of the Constituency Development Fund, believes the increases make sense. For me, I don't know about other MPs, but I work very, very hard as an MP, extremely hard. I believe that I'm supposed to do a good job. I believe I'm supposed to parliament. I believe I must participate in my committee meetings and hold people accountable. And I definitely am one who would want to see us continue to grow our country to the point that we are no longer paying people in allowances and benefits. A person's salary can be taken into consideration in their earning, their pension. So when they leave public service, they actually have a pension that was not substantially based on vacation and traveling and car allowance, but pay, but pay, but pay. Since when you win a politics to make money unless you are team? Since when you win a politics to make money unless you are a damn team? So immediately as this is announced, you are going to see a greater interest in the political field. So everyone who is occupying a political office ought to be thinking very carefully that I need to increase my political performance because believe me, there are many young people out there now who have started to look at entering the political field with higher educational qualifications, higher skills levels, higher competences. You are going to see, as a result of this, an increase, an improvement in the level of entrance coming into the political field. No questions asked. People come into politics to serve their country. It has never been principally driven by money unless they are coming in for dishonest motives. Mm -hmm. So money cannot be the base upon which you attract people to serve through politics. You know, if you're interested in making money, you stay in the private sector and make money. Since when you win a politics to make money unless you are team? Since when you win a politics to make money unless you are a damn team?